Let's continue our discussion of uh, HTML table basics. And, and the next concept that uh, we want to review is nesting of tables. And, and what nesting of tables is, is really a table within a table. And, uh, and, and this is how you do it. I'm, I'm referring back to our uh, previous document that we just created in our uh, cell padding and cell spacing segment. So if you want to grab that, you can. It's, it's a basic two by two table. And what we want to do is we want to nest a table here um, where row one, cell one is. And so what we can do is I can go right into the table data tag. And I'm going to go ahead and tab in. I'm going to start a new table right within that. I'm going to say border. If you remember why we do border equals one so we can see the out, outside of that. So I'm going to say table border equals one. Uh, and just like any table, we're just going to create a table row and a table data. And this would be row one, I'm going to call it R1C1 on this one. So you can see the difference between the two. Um, The next table data, again, we're doing a little two by two table within that table data right here. So if you notice, we're just nesting a table within one of the table data cells. So, so table data, this will be R1C2, or row one, column two. Close out the table row. Start a new table row. Start a new table data, and this will be R2C1 slash table data. Table data R2C2. Oh, whoops. Slash table row. Close out the table row, and then we close out the table. And it looks like that this table data needs to be closed out right here. So I'm going to go ahead and go slash table data. So what you're really seeing right here in this nesting is you're taking a table data cell and nesting a different table inside of it. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. I'm going to go ahead and save that, come back to my table, hit refresh. And right there in that first column, we've got that little table nested within the cell of those tables. That's how you nest tables in HTML.